hi welcome again to my channel this is my second video here i'm so excited to make another video for you i'm happy to have all your feedback from my last video that is uh, painting watercolor trees i have many of you guys that asked me on my instagram too i have tons of messages and comments asking me uh, what are my favorite watercolors and today i'm going to show you the green watercolors my favorite greens that i use the most so let's get started i have in this box more than 32 greens but in total i have more than 40 or 50 greens um, a little bit obsessed with buying watercolors this box you asked me a lot to work you can get this wooden box i bought this one from itzy you just have to type a watercolor wooden box and you're going to find easily this box not it's a fancy box but i like that looks like vintage box box i don't know I, I really like this put all my watercolors in this box i like to save my watercolors for colors i have one for greens one for blues one for yellows i have a lot of these boxes here today i'm going to show you eight of my favorite greens because i know 30 or 50 is too much and these eight colors that i show you here today is the ones that i'm really use all the time so and i really recommend to you if you have the possibility to buy these colors to have it in your watercolor palette because those are so beautiful i like to cut small squares to paint watercolor swatches and have the colors safe in a book so that is a way that you can find easily the color that you want to use in your paintings is easy to find colors and like remember that and more when you have a lot of colors it's very useful i found this tip from a teacher watercolor artist that i really love she's a great teacher go and learn from her about pigments if you are starting with starting with watercolors and even if you already are a watercolor artist she is great with pigments and she teach you a lot of tips about watercolors so um, i make this book thinking of her and um, watching her classes it was one of the first thing that i do when i start with watercolors the paper that i use for make the color swatches are arches grain fin cold press it i really really love this paper this is the paper that i use for almost all my watercolors that's why i recommend that you use for the swatches the same paper that you use for painting regularly because you're going to have the same you're going to have a realistic swatch of the color how going to look in that paper that you use frequently this is the size of the swatches that I like to make. It's two by two inches. Let's start cutting the paper for this. Those scissors looks good in the video and looks good in my uh, compositions, but for cut, not at well. I'm obsessed with buying scissors and accessories for my vintage like I like I kind of have a vintage compositions for my paintings you can see more of these paintings than photos that I do in Instagram but a lot of you guys that already follow me for a long time you know that I like to have a lot of accessories for my paint for take the pictures of my paintings I have these ones too but those are those looks good but <laughs> doesn't work for cut so i have to go for my regular ones those are the best for cut we have ready the squares to make the swatches but first i want to show you some of my favorite brushes here is the one i have a lot of brushes a lot of brushes but i'm going to show you like the ones that I like to paint swatches, um, the ones that I really use a, a lot. 
So let's go start with this one. This one is Windsor and Newton is size 10. This is good to make swashes. This brush is really good price and you can find easily these brushes, Windsor and Newton. This brush is one of my favorites. It's one of that I use the most for I like to make the skies. The name is Silver Black Velvet, the number eight. And if you have the possibility to buy this one, I already have with this one for years and I use it all the time. I love this brush. A brand that I really, really love when you want to have control of your paintings and uh, watercolors. The name is Skoda Perla. Uh, it's from Barcelona. These brushes I bought it in Jackson Art Supplies online because I can find it here. But I think now Bleak Art Materials have these brushes here in USA. This brand is amazing. I really love this brand and I love to use it in my small paintings. If you like go more for big formats, maybe you can find another brushes, but this one for details and have control. Um, you know, in watercolor, you can have control all the time, but you can have a little bit more control with brushes like this. More one you paint like me. I love to paint in a small sizes. A lot of my artist friends told me that they get more income making big format paintings, of course, because you can charge more for those big paintings. But I enjoy so much making these small mini paintings that I think that you have to make something that you like it to enjoy really enjoy your work and i like to i love to make these small paintings the big format that i make or i paint is 11 by 14 this one is a 8 by 10 but okay this is something for another video stars uh, with the first green that i like a lot this is a color with a yellow shadow the name is bohemian green from quar watercolors this watercolor have more than four pigments if i'm not wrong let me see have let me check here the pigments here one two three four yes have four pigments these watercolors that have a lot of pigments i prefer just go go and use it not mix it because they are already having a lot of mix in their composition because have four different pigments is beautiful color and i use it a lot a lot have this yellow shadow that i really like i take a lot of pigment from the watercolor and i put it in the beginning of the paper and i start putting more water to check how it looks the color lighter and in the light and the dark version of the color. This is another one of my Skoda brushes. I love this brush because I have a lot of control. This is how it looks the color now. We just have to wait and check how it looks when the colors dry. Something funny to tell you is that I have this paper towel at least for a year and a half. I use it lots of times and I don't get rid of this paper towel because I just love how it looks. For me, it's like a, a piece of art. I really love how it looks. I have another and I use another paper towels, but this one, oh my gosh, I just I love it. This one, another one have like four months. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just in love of my paper towels and how they look with all these colors. The next green that we're going to use is the yellow gray. This color is from Holbein. I don't have the watercolor in the tube. I can find it. I try to find it, but I can find it. So we, but look something like this, the Holbein watercolors. This is another Holbein watercolor, but this one is a green gray. That is another color that I like it. Um, it's like organic color that I'm going to show you later. Um, vamos. <laughs> I speak Spanish. Let's go to try this one. 
the yellow gray and this color is so beautiful this color looks like if you put a little bit white wash in in the painting i like this one when i'm going to paint on top of the cactus that i paint i love to paint with dark green on top of this painting i love the contrast of that color the same for the brushes branches and for the trees I don't want to make this video too long, so I, I wait that the paintings and the swatches dry, all the swatches, and now I'm going to show you uh, colors dry. We're going to uh, start with this beautiful green. The name is Dust Yellow. I am obsessed with this color for two years ago when I, no, like three years ago when I found it. Something that I love about this watercolor is the granulation, have a beautiful texture. This is from Van Gogh watercolors. These watercolors are really, really good price if you compare with another ones. So if you want to start painting and you want watercolors with a good price, this is a nice, nice way to start. You can see the color is and the textures are just so beautiful the next green is the under the sea green this watercolor is from daniel smith watercolors something that i love about this color is that it looks very organic natural is a color that you can find when you take a pictures of plants or you go <laughs> you go walking you can see this color often uh, this color have granulation too. I use this color too. You can see here, if you use this color with a lot of pigment, you can use it too for the branches, for the um, when you make trees. I use that color too to make the branches of the another trees when I use in a dark with a lot of pigment. I just use this color a lot. The next word color is this one, Bohemian Green from Quar. This watercolor is another of organic colors that I, I feel that is a earth tone colors and a beautiful color to use. This green is olive green from Daniel Smith. This is one color that you must to have in your watercolor palette. It's a color that you're going to use a lot. I don't have any Daniel Smith doesn't pay nothing to me to make this video. I know that I have a lot of watercolors from Daniel Smith. It's just, it's easy for me to find these watercolors here in USA. If I can find easily watercolors like Jackson Art Supplies or watercolors from Schminke, I wish to have more of those to try it. Next green is this one the yellow gray that i already told you about that one i already show you the swatch looks like this when the watercolor dry this green is serpentine genuine from daniel smith this watercolor is a little bit different that i pick normally this one is not a granite color not earth tone but i like to use in the dark with a lot of pigment I just love how it looks when I use light it's too bright for me but if I use with a lot of pigment I just love it this is from Holbein these were colors are from Japan if I'm not wrong yes made in Japan I don't have tons of these watercolors but I really like the ones that I found with nice color i have a nice violet from this brand and the indigo later i can tell you more about these ones but this one is really cool for the dark green to make branches i love to use this one uh let me show you i make this uh, watercolor tree using the light a lot of water and the branches using a lot of pigment is the same watercolor for the tree this is the shadow green from holding and the last one for today is this one the Persian green from Daniel Smith again I go for like I told you in my last video making forests and trees I like to uh, have different shadows of greens uh, make 
big difference in each tree that you can see the volume and difference so i this is more like blue shadow you can see it here i like to use that one to make a big difference of the yellow shadows you can notice the difference so yes this is all my favorite greens i have two more that doesn't are here one is the tierra verde <laughs> terra verde from schminke green earth from schminke that one let me see if it's here has to be here is this one is this color i love it and another one that i like too is this green gray from this one is holden too is this one here and the color is very organic i really love the shadow of that one and this is all the greens that i like it i love it i hope you like this video let me know if you have any question about my greens and if you have any recommendation for a next video thank you so much for all your support see you later